You know that debt spoils all the fun in life and you're also committed to creating a life without payments. So if you are driven to paying off debt and doing it very quickly, then you're probably looking for some extra ideas. In this video, I have 26 things that you can either cut or sell to hit your debt-free goals even faster. All right, let's talk about cutting things out of your budget. I think this is one of the easiest ways because you don't have to do any extra work other than maybe canceling some things or just stop spending money. And speaking of stop spending money, there's most likely, especially if you're in credit card debt, a problem with controlling that spending. So if you feel like money is just flying out the door and at the end of the month, you're like, where did everything go? You definitely need to pick up my How to Control Your Spending Workbook. It's my number one selling workbook that helps you rein in that spending control all of the money that may be going out and fine-tune things it has over 50 pages of content activities and principles to get you back into a feeling of financial confidence that is linked for sale in the description box below for you to check out so speaking of cutting things let's talk about streaming subscriptions that's a really easy one and also kind of a hard one to let go of especially if you're used to things like Netflix or YouTube premium or YouTube TV, you get what I'm saying. Take a hard look at those streaming subscriptions. A tool that I really like to use is called Rocket Money that helps you locate those subscriptions very quickly and then can also cancel them on your behalf if you pay for the premium version of the app. But at the very minimum, you could use the free version just to take a look at all of your subscriptions and cut out the ones that you no longer use. Next is to grocery shop down to the most basics. Instead of buying brand name, you're buying the store brand or the generic brand. Keep it basic, keep it minimum, and also meal planning definitely helps throughout the week. Next are gym memberships. If you are it's prescribing to a gym membership, good on you, but if you really wanna pay off that debt even faster, cutting out $100 plus per month gym membership is really going to go a long ways. Rather, you could replace it with at-home dumbbells or look up at-home gym videos, workout videos right here on YouTube. I love using Fitness Blender. They are amazing. They have over 600 free full-length workout videos for you to check out. Some other things that you consider cutting are haircuts cuts, maybe you give yourself a haircut, your spouse a haircut, or maybe you just extend those trips to the salon even farther. Next are clothes, house cleaning, restaurants you could scale back on or just completely eliminate if you were really going scorched earth. But if you've been following my channel for a long time, you know that I'm not a fan of scorched earth approaches because I like to live my life. But if you wanna take a look at restaurants because this is easily an area where you can overspend, this is a place that maybe you could perhaps cut back slightly. Another thing is gifts, waxing, nails, and I'm gonna call my husband out because he's a big golf lover, but golf outings, instead of doing 18 holes and doing a whole day of golf, maybe you just buy the $10 bucket of balls and go hit golf balls on the driving range, which is much cheaper than actually playing a full round of golf. All right, let's talk about some of the things that you can sell. And by the way, this entire list has been actually used by real millennials who use these tactics and use these different items to pay off their debt or cut items out of their budget to help pay off debt. First one was a lawnmower. If you have a lawnmower in your garage that you're not using or you're using something else, get rid of it. Gas storage tanks. Not really sure what this is, but somebody had listed this inside of the private Facebook group that I run. And I'm like, sure, that works. A camper, household items are huge. That list is endless. I'm just going to keep it to household items, but literally you can take it drawer by drawer, cabinet by cabinet, and just kind of clean out and survey exactly what you are using and what you're no longer using and what you can sell. Next are bikes, any kind of bicycles, exercise equipment that you're no longer using, DVDs. I once sold a bag probably of about 20, 25 DVDs for 20 bucks. 
I was so happy to get rid of that DVD clutter and somebody happily agreed to take it to, I think, I don't know what it was, like an after school program. I'm not really quite sure what they were doing with the DVDs, but regardless, they were out of my house and it was an extra $20 in my pocket. Musical instruments are always a good one too, especially if, if you haven't played a guitar or a keyboard in a really long time. And those things take up valuable space, especially if you're living in a smaller unit. So that's a really easy one to sell as well. You'll also wanna take a look at clothes, especially if you have brand name clothes. This is always really easy to go onto Poshmark. Just be really mindful of how you are presenting those clothes in your pictures. A clutter-free background that is well lit always works the best for me. And I think when you're doing clothes, sometimes I think modeling the clothes can be really helpful and something I don't see very regularly. It would be really interesting if you could take a picture of yourself, maybe you know, crop out your face, and then just show what that top looks like or what those jeans look like or the boots. I think always styling the clothes helps this clothes sell a lot faster. Somebody also had sold a split rail fence wedding decor. This is something that I've done in the past, which has been awesome. Especially if you're buying your own wedding decor and you're stuck with it, you're like, what am I gonna do with 25 ostrich feathers? You can sell it. You can sell it to other bridal parties that are looking for a big discount on wedding decor. And this also includes any wedding attire such as bridesmaids dresses or bridal gowns. Now for the big ones. <laughs> Somebody actually said that they sold their house in order to pay down debt. Now this would be a very extreme option or example because you'd really have to take a hard look at your lifestyle and the type of home that you're living in. If you are living in a house that is way too big and you have a massive mortgage payment in which you're drowning in payments and can't seem to keep up and you're willing to downsize and find something that has a smaller mortgage payment, then yeah, you could definitely sell your your house and make that work. I think an even better option than that that I think most people could probably stomach is selling your car. Now, this is something that I did actually right after I became debt free, but selling your car on your own by owner is actually a really, really simple thing to do. All you need to do is have the bill of sale and the title in order to make that transaction happen. I find that writing out a personal story of how you've been responsible for that car, what are some of the maintenance things that you've done, and also just memories of how that car has served you in the past and good memories really helped me sell my car very, very quickly. I think I had it up in like a matter of two days. I probably had close to 15 different requests asking to see my car and my car had a salvage title at that time. So it doesn't even matter if your title is clean or not. I was able to sell my car, get cold hard cash with the salvage title, very easy and very easy to do nowadays on your own. Next is furniture. Furniture is I think one of the easiest things that you could sell online and I love using multiple Multiple apps to help me with this. So you can take that same description and post it in multiple areas, such as Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, Offer Up, any other buy sell platforms that are out there. Take that same listing and post it twice. You gain extra exposure and visibility on your item, and the more likely that item will be sold a lot faster. Now, there was another example inside of the Facebook group in which a girl was able to take used TVs and flip them on Facebook Marketplace in order to pay off her student loan debt and she took it one step further not only did she pay off her student loan debt but she was also able to afford plastic surgery to get a new nose she got a nose job by selling used tvs on facebook marketplace what am I doing with my life? Now those are just 26 ideas to get you going and I hope they are inspiring you to take action. Another pro tip here that I wanna leave you with is sometimes we can get really motivated after watching a video like this and want to post every single thing, like sell everything in our house, but I guarantee you that is a very quick way for you to burn out. Rather than listing everything and kind of over exhausting yourself in one weekend, 
try listing two to three items at one time. You'll find that sweet spot that you are getting things out there and published and hopefully getting and attracting buyers to come buy your products and buy your stuff. But also you're not overdoing it by taking tons of pictures and uploading here and answering buyers from two, three, four, five different items that you're selling. So it keeps that task down to a minimum so you're not spending a lot of time doing it. And don't forget, if you want more ideas on how to control your spending that also reflects those debt-free goals, definitely check out my How to Control Your Spending workbook. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And guess what? You get a special invite from me to join the Debt-Free Millennials community here on YouTube of over 66,000 plus subscribers. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.